And speaking of the states, the United States, the election inches closer. And every day it just seems to get worse for Kamala Harris. She's going backwards in the polls and Trump's going forwards. That masterstroke, of course, of his over the weekend going to Macca's. And guess what? We have another example of Harris plagiarising. We brought you the story a week or two ago about large tranches of a book she wrote back in 2007 about crime having been copied from Wikipedia and other academic pieces. Well, uh, an outlet in the US has looked further into her publications and, lo and behold, found more. They report that in the most egregious allegations so far, Ms Harris, who was then San Francisco District Attorney, is accused of lifting almost 1,200 words from the 2007 congressional testimony of Republican Paul Lo Logley, sorry, the District Attorney of Winnebago in Illinois, it represented 80% of her 1,500 words submitted testimony to the House Judiciary Committee in support of the John R. Justice Act, a student loan repayment scheme for prosecutors. And, of course, at the time she was a prosecutor. She then went on to be the Attorney General of California. And guess what? They found another example where she took some text from the website for the National Human Trafficking Hotline. Now, this piece of text on the, the Human Trafficking Hotline's website was an example of the sort of phone calls they receive. Not an actual phone call they received, just an example of the sort of stuff they hear on the hotline, i.e. it's not real, it's a made-up one, because, of course, you can't give out actual phone calls, you receive privacy and whatever else. But just giving people an idea of what they hear every day. Well, she took that, Harris took that, quoted it verbatim. It's not real. She quoted the whole thing <laughs> and it wasn't even real. And, of course, you know, it's not only these tranches of text from Wikipedia and whatever in books and, and submissions to congressional oh. hearings that she... She's stealing all her policies from Trump, That's as we know. It's a pattern. She is a professional plagiarizer. How can you take her seriously at this well, point? Well, on, on the, 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 um, the, the helpline that you just mentioned, apparently authorities' concerns were raised when the text that she uh, read out as though it was real was... Um, Help, help, I've been invited to a party by P. Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> And that was someone thought, hang on, no, that P. sounds Diddy like a very... Diddy jokes specific. abound. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a... Specific. She but, probably uh, was. <laughs> she probably was. But, OK, so I've never understood plagiarism in the first place, yeah. right? It is the absolute... It is the worst sin you can so commit lazy. as a journo. Like, it is just so lazy and it is pretty much unforgivable. I'm not sure of many, if any, people who have really come back from it. It's absolutely terrible. No, I, I don't know. As, as a writer, I just cannot fathom, as a writer, it would, it would be like, can you imagine a painter, like, doing a knock-off of the Mona Lisa and saying, look, I did this. <laughs> like, how could you live with that? If you actually care about what you're doing and you actually have any degree of integrity mm -hmm. or love for what you're doing, and if you're a politician or you're a crusading DA or a crusading attorney general, that should be... That has to be the core passion of your mm -hmm. life. And if you are just cutting and pasting someone else's passion into yours. It actually proves that you stand for nothing, you don't believe in anything. And you don't know what you're talking you, about, you which is you're why about. you're getting also somebody else to talk about boxes. it. Like it's, I think it's even more visceral than that. It's just simply that you just don't really care. Anyone who really cared about the law would never do that. But secondly, even if you are going to play dries, at least plagiarise something good. Oh, no. <laughs> no, don't plagiarise Wikipedia. <laughs> no, don't plagiarise a Republican <laughs> whose job it is to try to catch you out for doing things like plagiarising. I don't like. How can you be so stupid not to think that eventually you will be caught? I want to say, and, and the icing on the cake for this. I want to see, this is 1,200 out of 1,500 words, I want to see Media Watch do that thing where they highlight <laughs> the two texts <laughs> now they and have, have a the, bad and a woman the, read out all 1,200 <laughs> words. Just one of the, the journalists has genuinely done that. He's known as the plagiarism finder and he took it upon himself to overturn every single word that this woman, to prove she doesn't have an independent thought and if it did, if she did, it would die of loneliness. But, hey... Otherwise, the Democrat campaign is going about as well as you can expect. Now, I notice my palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, vomit on my sweater already, mom's spaghetti. I'm 
nervous, but on the surface, I look calm and ready to drop bombs, but I keep on forgetting. Yes, that is Barack Obama, former president of the United States, just letting rip a Eminem song, who is a famous <laughs> white moment. rapper who was on stage because the Dems love their celebrity endorsements. He was on stage to uh, announce the arrival of Barack Obama, who then came on stage to do an Eminem rap. I mean, this is this you is know, the you stuff. Know I, you know, I did it. Because opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Yo! <laughs> oh, God, Joe. Do you know the rest oh, of the song? I, no, I don't know. That, I, do you know Eminem do is the, the full, world's fastest Do the full rapper? length. He's the world's well, fastest rapper, like, is he? Yeah, he's just did another one called Rap God or uh, or Rapzilla, I think, or something. And it's, and it's they reckon it's the fastest rapping ever done. Good His heavens. latest album. Wow. Been, the kids love it. I don't know. Right. I, that Barack Obama is cool. Barack Obama actually... Is, is like you see, I him think up they there knocked off is, some cool points. He's didn't a add. weapon. Nah, nah, black guys can come on. Dance, mate. Yeah, well, he look, wasn't you, even dancing. You that do have a, no, can jump. He you can do jump. have a point there. I'm not sure that white people should ever rap to be no. perfect. Like, you can call me racist for saying it, but but I don't think they should do it. But like, is that really what they think at this point of the campaign? Is They've given up. Gonna be the polls this, are this so one, bad. Saying, They've legitimately he given is up. The, he is the best performer they have. Barack Obama is the best asset they He's have. He's the best and orator. Barrett, when, when Kamala Harris goes up and tries to do stuff that's fun, mm. that's offbeat, that, you know, she did she did her own little musical number as well. It just looks horrible because yeah. it just looks so fake. Whereas Obama actually looks like he's having a good time. And, and he's got also the... <laughs> he's trying to own it. Also, I'm not sure know, it's working Because you know him. he's actually someone of real intelligence and real substance. When he cuts loose a bit, it's actually funny. <laughs> Whereas when Kamala does it, it's like she's just a kind of balloon, just sort of that someone's let the air out fluttering around the room. 